You know, in industrial automation processes, one of the most difficult challenges historically has been getting parts out of a bin and getting them into your process. I'm with Eric Anderson, he's product manager at Energid. Uh, Eric, what is it about bin picking which has been such a difficult process to master for so many years in automation? Yeah, that's a great question. So, you know, the camera companies are really focused on uh, getting a good point cloud, finding parts, locating the parts, and providing their orientation. But then after that, getting the robot into the bin, and then out of the bin, and to your placement location, well, that's up to you. And that's what we do here at Energid. We do uh, robotic motion control and path planning software. So here we have a demo today showing how our path planning software can be applied to this application of bin picking. We receive the point cloud, the data, uh, of how that part is oriented. Uh, the robot determines the path through the environment into the bin, out of the bin, through the environment again, and to the placement target. Now in this case, uh, you're showing an example of a small die cast part, actually a commercial electrical component there. There's only one axis of symmetry in this part, and it is the uh, possibly the worst case scenario. This thing is small, it nests, it's very difficult. I mean, it's di oh, damn near difficult for a person to pull this thing out of here. Indeed. So what we're doing here is we're, we're, uh, we're identifying three pickable surfaces, and two of those we're going direct from bin direct to fixture, and one of those we're placing it actually into a flip fixture and then regripping and placing it in. But at the end of the day, uh, the user doesn't have to take any concern about uh, planning the motion, no waypoints. They simply define the pickable points on the part and then how they want that part to be placed at the end of the day in the placement location, and all the robot motion control and all that happens in between is all controlled by ACT in our, our, uh, our software, robot motion control software. Eric, you brought up an interesting point, which is one thing to be able to pick the part out of the bin. It's another to orient it correctly for fixturing for further processing at this point. So is it possible, you think, to go for one step from basically random scramble, scramble piled in the bin and then drop it accurately into a fixture? Yep, that's right. So Acton has a feature that we call part-based placement or part-relative placement. And this allows us to define the part orientation at the placement. And then, since we have a model of the part that we're matching to, no matter how we pick up that part, at the end of the day, we're going to place it in exactly that orientation. Now, in this particular case, two of those three uh, pickable points are going to go direct from bin to place, and one of them is going to need a flip, flip, flip fixture. Uh, in the case of flat parts that have a discrete top and bottom, well, half the parts approximately are going to be up and half are going to be down. Half can go direct to the uh, placement target and half are going to need to be flipped and regripped. Now you mentioned also uh, optical systems uh, traditionally. Reflectivity has been a factor in some cases depending on the, the kind of part you're doing. These things are, are metallic, they're relatively shiny. Uh, agnostic that way? Yeah, so from our perspective, you know, we're not a vision company. There's a lot of vision companies applying different vision technologies, line scan, area scan cameras using structured light, uh, and uh, stereoscopic cameras, for example. So a variety of technologies there. They're really the experts in uh, creating that good point cloud, handling reflections, and things like that. What we're doing is we're handling, after we receive the information about where the parts are laying, handling all the motion control after that. This example uses a, uh, a vacuum gripper, but there are other ways of, of grasping parts. Uh, do you care about the end, end of arm tooling? Yep, so in our environment, so we create an environment. Uh, in our a kinematic model, we have a kinematic model of the robot. We attach a CAD model of the gripper. We could use fingers, we could use magnetic grippers, we could use suction grippers. What's really important for us is that we know the dimensions and we have a model of that. So as we move through the space in the environment, we don't hit anything either with the robot or with the grippers. And then when we have the part as well grasped, uh, we don't touch anything in the environment uh, with the part either. So we're really uh, agnostic to the uh, end effectors that are used. Eric Anderson, Energid, bin picking accurate and repeatable enough to go from the box to the fixture.